are now testing out what it is like to float the desk. So I used to be back here against this wall. Those pictures were over my desk. Little update, we have been selling stuff, trying to get ready for the move. We're, we're literally moving in two months, it's kind of crazy. So we're starting to clear through things, list things on Facebook Marketplace. We sold all the guest room furniture. So Andrew is now in that room and using it as his office. We already went ahead and got his new desk. So that's set up in there. And yeah, we're just kind of enjoying having our own space. I haven't had my own office since before 2020. If you follow me on Instagram, I was asking for advice on how to lay out my new office. And I think putting my desk against a wall might look like a little bit too empty. So a lot of you suggested that I float the desk in the middle of the room. And so I'm kind of just testing it out here in this house to see what it feels like and to see what cord management is like. I think that's ultimately the, the hardest part, you know, like whenever I look on Pinterest and see beautiful desks just centered in the room, none of them have big monitors. They have little laptops and I have a lot of cords, tech, big monitor and it just doesn't look as pretty from the back, but I got a new monitor. I shared it on TikTok. I'm loving this new setup, and I think I really like sitting facing out. I like to see who's coming in through the door. Obviously, it's just Andrew. Just being able to like not have my back to the door, but I'm still not sure how I feel about this big monitor. Even though the back is really clean and minimal, I'm still not sure how I feel about the monitor being the first thing people see when they walk in. It might be different in the new house, so we will see. Let's see what we're getting into today. It is Thursday. I have some meetings. I've been onboarding two new team members this week, which is really exciting. We have a strategy call in about 30 minutes, so I'll be doing that. But after those calls, I'm gonna be in full reset mode. We got our juice delivery. my lunch and I'm trying to get better about remembering to take my supplements. I have to take this Nutrafol um, for hair growth. I have to take it with food. So after lunch, I put it kind of near my stash of vitamins and I'm just trying my best to remember. This is not an ad, but I bought some Nutrafol. Uh, I heard good things about it. My doctor recommended it. Basically, I've been losing a lot of hair recently and I don't really know why. It's kind of freaking me out. So I have some blood tests scheduled next week. I'm gonna check my hormones, my thyroid, and just kind of figure out maybe if something's off. I've also been bruising really easily and the bruise will just stay for a long time. And so like this bruise is finally uh, going away, but I have had it for like two weeks and it was a really dark, deep bruise. And I'm like, where did I, I don't even remember where I got this. Something is just off. So I'm taking the supplement for the hair growth part. So I have to take four of these and we'll see. Apparently you have to take it for three months before seeing any sort of progress. I hope we get to the bottom of it because I feel like in three months, 
I won't have any hair left on my head <laughs> because of the amount that is coming out in the shower. It's really alarming. I'll be like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, too much hair is coming out. It's not coming out in clumps. I don't have any bald spots. I just got a haircut and my hairstylist, Kayla, checked my head. I have a lot of hair, so she said it would take a while for me to really lose all my hair. But, you know, it's a very scary, vulnerable place to be right now. So I will take these supplements every day. <laughs> so yeah, I've just been trying to lean more into self-care and reduce my stress. I don't even feel like I'm that stressed. Cheers. Hi baby. I'm grateful I live in Austin because we have pretty mild winters, so I don't have a ton of winter clothes I need to put away because they're all mostly just jackets and sweatshirts, but there are a few things that I know I won't wear anymore this season. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them away. This sweater set I know I won't wear until the winter, so I recently washed it. It's nice and clean, so I'm gonna fold it up and put it away. <laughs> So I have a bunch of packages I need to return, but my printer's not working, so yet another day goes by that I can't drop these off. These boxes have been such a nuisance, I want to get rid of them. But I'm headed to a coffee shop with my friend just to change up the scenery and get some work done, catch up, be social. My introverted self loves being home. But yeah, oh, oh my God, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> These shoes are super cute, but I have to say they are very cheaply made. Yeah, are they worth the money I paid for them? Probably not. But do I love them and plan on wearing them until they're in treads? Absolutely. Okay. We're gonna go with the pink sunnies. Let's go. <sighs> Don't ask me why I'm wearing a sweatshirt in 100 degree weather. This is a rental car. I got into a little fender bender collision a couple weeks ago and so our Volvo is in the shop and it's been in the shop for the past week. It's gonna be yet another week in the shop. Since I didn't know how long I was gonna need this car, I didn't wanna spend very much money on it so I got the cheapest one and Borderline a mistake because getting on the highway is a little bit scary. We do have to go out to visit our house, which is about a 45 minute drive on the highway and we are straight up flooring it. I just finished a great co-working session with my friends Tia and John. It feels so good to just get out of the house and I swear whenever I'm at this particular coffee shop, I am just in a trance. I am in the flow state. Andrew and I are gonna go see a movie tonight. We're gonna see Doctor Strange. I will check in with you tomorrow. Nope. <laughs>
<laughs> All the good things and the bad things. Good morning. It is Friday. Andrew has the day off. We're gonna go see our house today, but this morning we're just kind of getting our ducks in a row, drinking my matcha. Andrew's looking at some investing. And then we will head to the house and see our cabinets that are in. I'm editing a reels and I thought it'd be interesting to show you a little bit of that. So yesterday I filmed some clips and then I'm in in shot. So I'm gonna record the voiceover in here and I have kind of my script or things that I wanna say in Notion. So this one is simple decluttering hacks you can do right now. And then I have things I wanna say right here. Five things you can declutter right now. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Five things you can declutter right now. Number one, store away appliances you don't use every day. Number two, give everything a home. This is your first time doing a vlog? This is so exciting, you all. Look. Ah! We have cabinets! Oh! We have cabinets! I feel so happy. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, there's cabinets in here too! 